Hello and welcome to Hack Elite TV. This week we'll be experimenting with the MX2 text to speech module from Huron and Parallax Electronics. This will introduce you the concept behind digital text to speech. We'll show you the command set and some basic Arduino code. Did I say Arduino code? Yes, Arduino code. Arduino. There it is, the uh, MX2 text to speech module and this one is a prototype so it has a few extra wires and resistors soldered on the board there it's from Joe Grand inventor extraordinaire grand idea studio and parallax it's just coming out on the market and uh, I'm gonna play around with a couple of these and maybe do some stuff with some robots uh, got some ideas we'll talk about more in a minute but there is the unit and it has six uh, pins on it. It communicates serially and so let's see uh, bottom to top there's speaker positive and speaker negative that would be for the text voice output then there's the uh, signal in, signal out, 5 volts and ground signal in and out are for serial communication and I have this one connected to an Arduino uh, an older one this is an old one this is a prototype look at that prototype limited edition it's probably worth like a couple of bucks to some crazy Arduino geeky collector. But anyway, I digress. Back to the MX2. Really cool little text-to-speech module. You just uh, send it serially the text you want it to say and it will come right out of that speaker. And I've got this one connected to a little uh, amplified speaker setup here. And there's a set of commands built into this that you can uh, use to change all kinds of parameters. And you know, I think I'll let Joe Grand describe that to you. What I'm going to do first is list the commands with H. So here's our list. Let's start at the top. S will convert a text message into speech. D will play a demonstration message, and there's three different ones that I'll play. X and Z will stop the playback and pause and unpause the playback. The next few settings, we can configure the, the text-to-speech module by selecting one of nine voices, setting the audio volume in 66 different volume steps. We can set the speaking rate in words per minute. We can select the language, either English or two different dialects of Spanish, Castilian or Latin. We can select the parser, either DeckTalk or Epson. The Epson parser provides a few additional commands, whereas the DeckTalk parser is the standard phonics DeckTalk engine. C prints the current text-to-speech settings of the EMIC module. I prints version information, and H is our list of commands. We're going to press I. To list version information, and this is version information specific to this particular EMIC module. So this one we see the firmware is 1.0, then we see two things here, the hardware and firmware versions for the Epson S1V30120 text-to-speech um, IC that we're using. So if we press C, we can see the current text-to-speech settings, and since we just powered on the module, these are the default settings. I'm going to set the volume to 4. So, there you go, that's uh, enough of that, and so I want to use one of these and do some coding with an Arduino and hook it up in a couple of robot type things. Uh, I'm not going to reveal that quite yet, other than they are just basically common objects that um, I'm going to make them come to life and interact with each other. I've got a lot of ideas going on that. So here's the code from uh, Joe Grand originally. I added a bit to it to make it work uh, the way I wanted to with just some different, basically, text that gets read as a, you know, a sound. But I found I had to uh, use the uh, new soft serial library instead of just a software serial library. And then everything worked okay because it needed the flush command. For some reason, my early version of uh, Soft Serial Library did not have that. So you might make note of that if you mess with this at some point in the future, viewers. Anyway, it's uh, just some basic code that sets up uh, a serial print to the uh, emic and tells it what to do. And then we can just basically send the command like emic serial print s. And that's ready to actually speak this line right here. Thanks for watching, etc., etc. So, pretty basic stuff. I'll include this code on the uh, uh, Hack a Week page on the blog page. Uh, check it out there. All right, that's the code. 
One day my girlfriend said to me, hey, I've got this great idea, something you could do with robots. You could take those two box things I gave to you and maybe animate them so that eyeballs pop out when somebody gets near them or something. And I immediately thought of the Emic 2 text-to-speech module and how interactivity with this uh, inanimate object or seemingly inanimate object could trigger a response where it may like rise up and be able to pan and tilt and you know swivel around on an axis and open and close its mouth and speak to you. What are you doing? You know, things like that. And that would be pretty interesting as you, you know, approach them and do things to them. They would respond accordingly. Uh, you could use sensors to uh, track how fast maybe you move toward them and that would uh, elicit a, uh, a defensive kind of posture and if you're nice and come up to them slow then they would be nicer to you and say nicer things and be less aggressive. Now let's take that a step further and if you made two of them and just put them near each other, uh, what kind of strange patterns would emerge in their behavior? Would it be totally random or would it actually pigeonhole its way to some sort of strange stuck loop, which I find kind of intriguing. Uh, I guess it could go anyway. But anyway, it's something neat to think about and I'm wanting to do that. So this is what's going to happen. A couple of these in each one of these with some servos to make the mouth open and close with the speech that comes out probably through a speaker in the bottom something like that where it can project out maybe stick a little LM386 amplifier circuit inside there too and then they can interact with each other and people and uh, it'll be really interesting thanks for watching and be sure to follow along as I get a body and senses and movement and a friend to talk to my brain will be an Arduino and my voice the Emmett too. Till next time, keep on hacking.